have not. But we should, we're going to, yeah, we're going to do that. Mr. Spector, aye. Mr. Stevens. On this vote, the yeas are 59, the nays are 41. Two-thirds of those senators voting, a quorum being present, not having voted in the affirmative, the motion is not agreed to. Mr. Chief Justice, uh, um, I think this is a vote to sort of bring the Senate into the 20th century. And we're at, um, I think that the motion that passed that would enable any senator who wants to to uh, make public his or her statement and final deliberations, and I think hope before it's all over, my guess is really throughout all of the uh, closed uh, deliberations, um, represents a great leap sideways, <laughs> not a step forward. I mean, th it's a very poor substitute. <laughs> uh, because I believe the rule clearly gives the Senate the option of leaving the doors open and then proceeding into open deliberations. But the precedent for 130 years is otherwise, and he chose to stay with the precedent. Uh, I hope that in the future, uh, another Chief Justice will look at this rule and determine that the Senate will be able to have the option to close or open the doors by a majority vote. Cedric Blumenthal, with regard to possible fraud on the Senate by alleged perjury. She had come on to him and uh, made a demand for sex that he had rebuffed her, turned her down. And um, so I will suggest asking the quorum, but just for a couple of minutes. Mr. Abraham. 